Hey everybody, so today we're going to be breaking down a physical therapy hot topic and that is lifting mechanics. So lifting mechanics is enormous kind of um, topic to go through whether you are dealing with lower back pain, knee pain, hip pain, mid back pain, um, you know, any of these kind of pathologies can kind of play into what lifting mechanics feel comfortable for you and what's most appropriate for you. So we know that there are many different ways to kind of lift something up off the ground or to um, do any deep kind of bending movement towards the ground and choosing which one is most appropriate to you can either one kind of help you recover from an injury that you already have or two prevent you from having um, an injury in the future. So there are a lot of different types of lifting um, mechanics from the ground and we're just going to break down some of the most common ones and when you might use each one of those. So the very first one that we're going to talk about today is the hip hinge. So the hip hinge is our uh, movement strategy that allows us to safely move the most amount of weight um, effectively. So this strategy, however, is used only for folks with back pain that's low to moderate. If your back pain is very severe, it might be one that causes a little bit too much sheer force for you. That might be one to avoid. However, if you have, um, you know, low to moderate back pain, it's one that would be, um, you know, something that you can build resiliency with and get your back stronger. Um, if you have knee pain, this is an excellent kind of lifting strategy to kind of um, to use, especially if your knee pain is severe enough that deep knee flexion is uncomfortable. So a hip hinge, what you're going to do is you're pushing your hips back and your chest comes forward. So imagine I'm kind of lifting something up off the ground here. My butt comes back, and my chest comes forward. Now I'm not bending my back. So if you look at my back here, my tailbone is kind of still up towards the ceiling. My back is still straight. I'm in a deep hip flexion position in a shallow knee flexion position. I'm going to lift up and then back down. So I'm taking a breath in here to kind of engage the core and then I lift up. So this is a hip hinge. Again, a deep knee, um, a deep hip flexion angle and a shallow knee flexion angle. Butt comes back. My shoulders are slightly in front of my knees. My knees are, you know, my shins are mostly kind of perpendicular to the floor. And then I lift, okay? Great movement strategy for folks with low to moderate back pain or severe knee pain. The next movement strategy is the squat. So this is that kind of movement that you're gonna hear a lot of physical therapists tell you to use if you have some pretty volatile back pain. So if your back pain is such that any amount of sheer force or any amount of bending is just intolerable right now, this is probably the one that you're gonna to go to. However, if your knee pain is super volatile, if your knee pain is um, super severe, this might be pretty uncomfortable for you. So this would be the one to avoid with that kind of most severe knee pain, um, but one to kind of um, use if your back pain is pretty significant. So with the squat, what you're going to do is you're going to drop down into a shallow hip flexion angle with a deep knee flexion angle. So Notice the difference between that hinge and the squat. In the squat, my chest stays up, but my knees kind of bend deeply. So my chest is up here. I'm still getting to that same depth, so I'm still getting low to that ground. My chest stays up the whole time. Versus the hinge is this, my chest is down. So here's the squat, here's the hinge. So that's the difference kind of between those two. The next one is called the lunge. So the lunge is an awesome lifting strategy if we're not quite sure what the weight of the object is. So say that Amazon package comes in and we're not quite sure you know, how heavy this package is or we're kind of trying to lift the box up off the ground and you know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get my arms around it. Um, you know, Maybe it's 20 pounds, maybe it's 50 pounds. The lunge is a very safe way to kind of get established on the ground and be really safe when we're kind of lifting something up off of the floor. So with the lunge, what you're going to do is you're gonna drop down to that knee you're gonna get that object as close to you as you can, kind of hug it into you, and then you're gonna stand like this. So the lunge is also a great movement strategy if we're going to be you know, carrying something really heavy. You know, Say you're moving the couch, say you're moving um, something just unwieldy and heavy, the lunge is probably the movement strategy for you. It's also a great movement strategy if you're having severe back pain. So if you're not able to tolerate that hinge position, to lift something. The lunge is an awesome movement strategy to allow you to get deep to the ground without putting a whole lot of force through your back. So again, from the other side, the lunge is going to be dropping down to one knee, scooping underneath whatever you're lifting up, and then back up. 
Um, additionally, you know, just kind of going back to that hinge pattern, the hinge is a really nice extra, um, kind of movement strategy to do if we're doing repetitive lifting. So if you are, you know, say you're weeding the garden um, and you might be doing, you know, 50 bends to the ground, the hinge would be an awesome movement strategy to kind of save some stress on the back. Now, if we're weeding the garden and we're using the lunge strategy to pick up every single weed out of the garden, the knees and the quads are gonna to be totally exhausted. So it probably won't be using the lunge or the squat for that over repetitive lifting. That's where the lunge is gonna, or that's where the hinge is gonna come into place. So the hinge is a great way to do that repetitive kind of, um, you know, low level um, lifting where you're lifting something, um, you know, a bunch of times was very light. The next movement strategy is just the bend. So you're probably not gonna hear a ton of physical therapists tell you to, to bend your back. However, I'm here to tell you if our back wasn't meant to move, it would look like our shin bone. So the back is meant to move. So if I'm putting the dog bowl back down, I'm just gonna bend my back. So our back is a series of joints connected by discs that allows us to rotate, extend, flex, side bend, rot um, all different types of movement. So if you're doing something just one or two times, you're tying your shoe, um, you're lifting something zero to five pounds from the ground, you're putting the dog bowl down, I just want you to bend your back and not think twice about it. However, if you're somebody who has severe back pain, if that back is just super flared up, this might be one to avoid for a little while. So while you're kind of getting through some stuff, maybe use the hinge pattern for that. If your knees are pretty flared up, the bend is a really nice movement strategy for those kind of one, two off movements that are really light. So if you have you know severe knee pain, I'm giving you they're, they're all clear to just let your back bend when you're putting that dog bowl down. The last movement strategy that might be a really effective way to kind of hybrid the two of them is the golfer's pickup. So if you know um, the bend is a little uncomfortable for you, but you're just trying to kind of get through some movements, the golfer's pickup is a great way to kind of keep some pressure off the back, keep some pressure off the knee, and just allow yourself to pick something up off the ground. It's also a really good one for repetitive lifting, you know, such as weeding. So the golfer's pickup, you're gonna kind of move with one leg, lift something up off the ground, and then keep going. So again, it's that single leg kind of movement. Obviously with this exercise, you're probably not using this if balance is an issue for you. So this should be reserved for those folks who have pretty good balance, pretty good sense of kind of where they're at in space. Um, the golfer's pickup is a great strategy. So those are the five kind of primary lifting strategies I want to talk to you guys about. I know that's a lot of information. So slow that video down, kind of rewatch it a couple of times, to kind of pick that um, movement strategy that's best for you. And when these are done right, so we, we really should be kind of mixing and matching between the five of them. So if we only ever are hip pinching, if we're only ever squatting to lift something from the ground, we're probably leaving a lot on the table and we might be using kind of some um, areas too much and some areas too little. So when done best, we're kind of picking and pulling between those um, based on what our body's asking for at that moment. So again, if it's something super heavy, maybe we're pulling out that hip hinge, maybe we're pulling out that lunge. If it's something a little bit lighter and our back is bothering us, um, you know, maybe let's, let's pull out that squat pattern. Um, you know, that golfer's pickup and the bend are great strategies for that light object or if we're doing um, you know, repetitive lifting, the hinge and the, and the golfer's pickup are, are probably the things that you're zoning in on. Um, so thanks for, thanks for watching this video. Um, let us know if you have any, any questions on that and then um, yeah, use those strategies.